Ladies and gentlemen, hot off the presses, Hurricane Barrel has become a potentially catastrophic Category 5 hurricane in the Eastern Caribbean, expected to bring life-threatening winds and storm surge to Jamaica later this week. And this makes it the earliest Category 5 ever on record. Which you're smart, you know that is a super bad sign for the overall hurricane season. And I want you to stay calm and stay cool as I give you even more potentially bad news. And that is that models are now suggesting the hot pressure dome may shift to the east, increasing the odds that this hurricane may take a north turn towards possibly Brownsville or Houston. And very worst case scenario for Louisiana, Louisiana. I still think and hope it, it will go into Mexico. No disrespect, Mexico. Hopefully everybody on that coast is prepared. But at this point, nobody knows. And my gut says the second half of 2024 is going to be wilder and crazier on every single level than the first half. So I don't want to get too, you know, optimistic about the atmospheric defense team and then have a, me let you down by, you know, communicating the risk not properly. Did I say that? Well, this hurricane has all the bad signatures we don't like. The eye wall it's almost perfect the like skull that it makes in infrared all right so let me read some other meteorologists so when you realize it's beginning to look a lot like 2005 one of the worst hurricane seasons on record and it's not even july 4th yet matt devitt barrel track interesting trends recently with some models sure enough showing a weakness in the ridge of high pressure from an approaching trough this weekend into early next week that would potentially allow for more turn northwest and even north if the ridge is stronger. So, yeah, plenty of time to watch it. Prayers up, please. And Texas and Louisiana definitely continue to monitor. Weather Track US. Can we go at least one hurricane season without a major storm forming? A terrifying skull on satellite? No, I guess not. It looks like a monster from space. And hey, if you're in a Jamaica, man, am I allowed to do that? Uh, I would definitely be tracking it. And, you know, the Yucatan Peninsula, Honduras. And there's, you know, some models have shown it threading the needle between Cuba and Mexico. That happened to be a total disaster. Florida weather tropical tracker showing a northerly trend with more of a curve. You know, so it's like 50-50. It's either going to go into Mexico or it's going to turn up here somewhere. But yes, at this point, I would definitely agree with Zara Lee he and say it's Danger Donut where nobody really knows where it's going to go. So consider this like instant diabetes type 3 that has 150 plus mile per hour winds that would hit you in the face. Texas, remember we had a total solar eclipse earlier and then, you know, the sun has been strengthening full steam ahead, solar maximum. So yeah, definitely the overall situation is pretty spooky and this monster may get bigger and scarier. Although I'm not trying to scare you and I'm not trying to fear monger you. Um, I'm just trying to get you prepared if it did make landfall in texas it would be around the sixth or seventh or eighth or ninth or like in 158 hours this model yeah there would appear there are two distinct camps a clear hook you know like i well like i just said and a lot depends on how much it continues to strengthen and then that high pressure system noah bergerin we now take a break on your feed from talking about look at the satellite of Beryl to doing some long-range forecasting. He, Noah, oh, geez, where have I heard that name before? He's long been in the camp of Turnmore Northeast in the Gulf. 
and think more of the scenario possible occurring now. Models are slowly indicating more potential for a northeast turn this weekend into the Gulf. Just simple terms, the strength of the hurricane ridge placement over Florida. Yeah, so we will see what happens. But point being, he would say the chances of a Texas or even Louisiana impact are definitely there and have gone up ever so slightly. As opposed to unlikely, he would now characterize it as a low chance, which is still a chance. So, so yes, I'm t telling you, there's still a chance that it could turn north and hit Texas or Louisiana. So, we will continue to track. We will prepare for the worst and pray for the best. All right, God bless everyone. I'll keep you guys updated. Stay cool.